What's going on guys? I am the cheapest wrestler in the world, Matt Rivera. Welcome back to another episode of Cheap Meals. And today we are making, uh, it's just about brunch time over here, and we are making a breakfast burrito. Let's get cracking. Ha <laughs> ha, hot dog. Now we're cooking with gas. First things first, I'm just going to put a little oil in the pan here. Get that started. Well, I'll be a little generous with the oil actually. Get the pan heated up while we jump to our first ingredient. By the way, this is only going to be about five ingredients. I didn't actually count, but I'm pretty sure it's five. We'll see if I'm correct. And this whole thing, this whole ensemble will definitely be less than five bucks. So it's a nice cheap meal for yourself, but oh, it is delicious. Let's check out our first ingredient. In the first episode of Cheap Shots, I was a little disappointed that I did not have this ingredient because I feel like it would have added a little bit of extra something to the hibachi rice. Yes, if you remember correctly, ooh, onion. Simply delicious. We'll just come to the other side of the stove top over here. We're not gonna really even need too much, just a few layers. Onions have layers. And then we'll mince this up real nice and tiny. Little known fact, real men don't cry when they cut onions. No sissy men here, all right? No sissy men here. Throw that right in the pan. Va boom! And now that we actually have something in the pan, we can kick it up just a little bit, but not too much. Our second ingredient is a controversial one. Spam. Simply delicious. Now you might be one of those people who are right now thinking, Oh, but Matt, Spam is so gross! Half of the people that say that have never even tried Spam. Spam is freaking delicious. And on top of that, it's cheap. So let's crack this bad boy open. Next, what we want to do is just kind of pretty much do the same thing as we did with the onions. We just want to cut this in little cubes. Almost mince it, but not that small. So little cubes. I know, it's like a hot dog in a can, right? But trust me, it is delicious. So let's get to chopping. Really dice it up pretty fine. I'll show you guys what it'll look like in a second. Oh! 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 Just, it's ketchup. It's just ketchup. So now that our spam is all sliced and diced, we're going to add that in right with the onions into the frying pan. There we go. We'll let that cook up a bit. Just mix it up a little. I actually put a lot of spam in, so I might take a little out. We'll see, we'll see. Now for our next ingredient, it is a wabam! Two eggs. Simply delicious. I like including eggs in just about, I don't know, any recipe that I can because A, they're high in protein, good source of extra nutrients, but they're also cheap. You can season these eggs however you like. I'm just gonna use some basic salt and pepper packets that I got from, I don't know, someplace. <laughs> someplace that I kept. All right, there goes the salt. A little bit of, bit of, bit of, bit of the pepper, pepper, pepper. Now whip it, whip it good. Whip them eggs, just like you should. So now we'll just pour our eggs right on top. Yeah, let's get it all in there as much as we can. Try to really mix up the ingredients with our eggs because we're going to want this to pretty much stay together as much as possible. And you'll see why in a little bit. I'm going to just cover this because I want the top of the eggs to cook a little quicker. So I'm making sure the heat is properly distributed. We've got a couple of minutes to kill while the eggs are cooking. So now is a great time to clean up. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about control and if you can take it. I walk alone inside this pit of danger. All right, now we can flip our eggs over. Yeah, that's perfect. You see how everything kind of stuck in there? And make sure I can actually properly flip it. Bam, there we go. Yes, everything is cooking perfectly. We could actually turn off our heat right here. 
And the next ingredient we will add is something everybody loves. Cheese. Simply delicious. Trust me on this part. You're just going to want to put a little bit of cheese. Less cheese! Not too much. Maybe just a pinch more than I added there. There we go. And you'll see why in a little bit. And we're going to fold it in half like so. Ooh, yeah. That's coming out nice. And now the next thing we're going to do is actually take it out of the pan. We're going to put it on the plate. I know this seems crazy, but trust me guys, trust me, that we're going to put our tortilla. Last ingredients. Simply delicious. Add some more cheese. More cheese! Add some more cheese just to one side. So the side that you're adding the cheese to is where you're going to put the eggs back onto. All right, so we're adding the cheese. We could put our uh, burner on on like low heat, but nothing too crazy right here. And then we're going to put our eggs right on top of the cheese. We're gonna let that sit for a couple of minutes. Now the last thing we're going to add is, you guessed it, more cheese. That's why you didn't want to put too much in the omelet because then it would have been like way too much cheese, cheese overload. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to fold this bad boy as best as we can you know, it might depend on the size of the tortilla you have, but we'll do the best we can here. Bam. Fold that over. Hold it down a little bit so all of that heat gets in. Yeah. All right. You might have to, you might have to uh, play with it a little bit, but you'll, you'll get there, you'll get there. We'll hold it down with the spatula. Careful not to burn yourselves, guys. Be careful. <sighs> Confession time. This wasn't a recipe for a breakfast burrito. This was a recipe for a breakfast quesadilla. But tell me that that does not look fantastic. And you know what's better about a breakfast quesadilla more so than a burrito? Way more easy to eat. You could just pick it up just like this. Mmm, that is good. That is a tasty quesadilla. Mmm, mmm, for real. I mean, the spam is perfect. The onions are cooked so good. Oh, it even smells delicious, man. I wish you were here to try it. If you try out this recipe at home, please let me know in the comments because it's pretty banging. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I don't mean to toot my own horn, but toot toot. It is good. Breakfast quesadilla, the cheap way. I am the cheapest wrestler in the world, Matt Rivera. Thank you guys for joining me on another episode of Cheap Meals. I'll see you guys real soon. Time to make change. You know I've got to give a special shout out to the Frugal Faction. Are you ready for the cheap wrestler to return to the ring? Then you've got to get the latest gear. I've partnered with Redbubble to bring you guys the dopest merch, including a brand new line of Time to Make Change shirts, masks, cell phone cases, backpacks. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And these all come in classic cheap wrestler graphics too. Don't be second rate. Get your merch today. Click that link in the description. Let's go. Penny figure thoughts ain't worth the price when the rent is high. Knock out your lights. Proving in seconds, oozing electric. Smells like glass. School is in session. Saved by the bell. Yeah, I'm on fire, blazing in hell. Save your career, rather save on a sale. Stuck behind bars, making no bail. No bail. I cashed in attraction. Numero uno, action, brutal, faction, frugal. I'm the sh. Your matches, doodle.